Hey folks, welcome to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show. I'm Alex and we're going to check out a plug-in from Sound Theory tonight. This is the Gulfos. I've just been doing some mixing and I thought I'd share it with you. So basically this is an intelligent EQ which reacts to the uh, frequency content of your source audio, whether it be in individual instrument or a voice or a whole band mix or even just a group of uh, instruments in your DAW. Now I've got it in Logic tonight and I'm just going to give you a bit of demo. They've got an acoustic guitar, a, um, an amp sim, a digital amp sim. I'm going to give it a bit of life and see if we can liven that up a bit. A simple voiceover of me talking and a band mix with um, some live acoustic drums, bass, and a bit of guitar, a bit of surfy reverb guitar. Okay, so how it works is depending on the source audio, you can make it either. Let's open up the plugin actually. We'll whack one up. Gold Foss in mono on the acoustic guitar channel. So this, we'll put it in the middle, has two controls, main controls, recover and tame. And that, depending on the audio, let's, let's play a bit of the acoustic guitar actually. And I'll show you the, how it works. Okay, now you can see the audio coming in. Now, when we go to recover and tame, it will um, recover means like you're bringing one of accentuate frequencies and tame basically you're attenuating them. So let's try that on this acoustic guitar. Okay, as you can see, it kind of cleaned up a whole bunch of mid-range. Now, I've done this on purpose. I actually use uh, this mic, an SM58, to record the acoustic guitar, uh, this one actually. So I didn't want to get the best sound, so I wanted just a very simple mic setup, something you'd have in your home studio. First singer-songwriter type ideas. Getting them down. Everyone usually has a 58 or something similar, 57. Uh, so basically, you can make it sound nice and lively, and um, especially that some of the boxy mid-range happens in acoustic guitars, especially if you're in a room that doesn't sound super perfect and lovely. Now, the uh, other, other controls here are bias, which will go minus or plus percentage-wise. And that's um, basically tailoring the bias towards the attenuation or addition of frequencies from the recover and tame. There's also a bright, uh, brighten control, which basically brightens the overall mix. And the boost will actually boost the lower and high end frequencies, or you can take the boost down and it'll accentuate the mid-range. So let's check out the next one. This is an amp sim. I used a simple digital amp sim, like a Marshall type sound, Marshall Plexi with a, an electric guitar, just di would straight in. And it sounds okay, and we'll have a look and listen to the dry sound. Okay, so you can hear it's a bit cloudy, a bit muddy, especially in the lower mid range. Um, the guitar I was using is quite dark, so that does contribute to that. Now, uh, if we work the plugin on this plugin right here, and um, yeah, the great thing about this EQ is it's often less is more, and it just does a little bit of magic to your audio. And so, with the recover and tame, you can sort of get some more clarity in your audio, and um, that's what we're looking for with this amp sim. Give it a bit of life because it is very digital. Now, here we go. Let's check out that. So 
So you can see the EQ on the Galfos has cleaned that up a lot and it's given some clarity to the upper mid range. Uh, oftentimes around 4 or 5k is a good point to get some clarity out of humbucker guitars. Now, voiceover. Whether you're doing um, some YouTube channels stuff like we do, uh, podcasting, or uh, just singing um, uh, your songs, often the vocal sources are very important to um, get a good sound on. So let's check out Gulfos on the voice. Let's check that out. Welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. Welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. Okay, you see it gave, gave more clarity, um, kind of cleaned up the whole bunch of mid-range. What I've found is um, it's very good at making things really present, but without getting um, any glassiness to the sound. So it's very, very well controlled in the high end, this plugin. Okay, let's check out a bit of a band mix now. This is a um, basically a three-piece rhythm section, uh, acoustic drums uh, done here in the studio. So it's all done live. And um, this is what it sounds like as is. <laughs> So you can, I've done a little bit of mixing, not much, just some balancing, a little bit of reverb on the snare drum, a whole bunch of reverb on the guitar because that is how I printed it. Now, um, yeah, let's check out the plug-in on the band and see what that does. I think we can clean up some of that, especially the, um, the cross stick of the snare. There's a little bit of 400-ish so going on there. We can clean that up. Let's check it out. <laughs> Yeah, that's much tidier. Just things have come to life. Again, just love the top end in this plugin. Uh, really makes things really crystal clear without being harsh or bright or glassy or any of those bad things that we don't like with top end. Now, um, uh, yeah, we've been using on our all our mixes with our um, podcast and trying to um, get the best sound we can, and it really works well for that as you can hear with the uh, voiceover and also just great for having any kind of um, the last mastering type um, EQ tone, tone shaping on your, um, on your mix, whatever you're working on. The other thing I haven't mentioned is there is some um, frequency uh, parameters. So if you look on here, Now these red lines will show you uh, anything in between the red lines is only being affected. So you can frequency um, basically mask off the high end or low end, or you can cross them over. And then it will only affect the mid range content. <laughs> Yeah, for example, if you're already happy with the bottom end in the mix and just wanted to clean up a certain mid-range uh, bandwidth, it's very handy for that. Cool. Um, yeah, thank you so much to Sound Theory for uh, giving this plugin to check out and um, no doubt we'll be using it on a whole bunch of stuff coming up. And thanks for hanging out and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.